Hey Canadians, uh, first of all, thanks for all the orders this season. Um, it's been a lot of them, and they all kind of came in short order. But we've got through it. Um, just came in from the shop a little bit ago, working on a couple more to send over there. So, coming up for the 2023 season, it's only May of 2022 right now. But thinking ahead, okay? I've been told fair warning is going to be worse for me next year about nets. Um, I put a ton of them out the door this spring. I just bought today. I just bought my third roll of material this year. And I started building nets off one that I had left from last year. So, yeah, I've been through a lot of material. So I just picked up another 155 yards of it today. That'll hold me for a little while. Um, but with this word that it's going to be crazier next year because a lot of you guys are getting your fisheries established, getting going, needing gear. Don't wait until February, March, April next year to start hitting me with a bunch of orders of, you know, one guy calls me, hey, I want five nets. And two hours later, somebody else is calling me, hey, I need eight nets. And then, you know, six, seven at night, somebody else is calling me or sending me messages, hey, I want five or six nets. Um, that's what I was dealing with this year, and I was just getting pounded. Pulled it off. Um, I am a single dad. It's me and the little guy. He's a year and a half old. So I need time to be a dad, too. I can't sit in the shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just turning out nets so that I can get them to you, you know, post-haste last month when you need them. So, I'm trying to make things easier for me and for you about getting them from here to there. And I'll explain why. Okay, first of all, I made a video prior to this one, and I took it down at request of somebody who mentioned, was mentioned in it, because he was receiving some flack over it. I have no problems with this person whatsoever, none. So, with getting stuff from here to there, it's a real pain. Um, shipping takes time. Money takes time. Wire transfers are a waste of time. Um, I've had a few people try and send me money through wire transfers. You know, you go to your bank over there and give them X amount of dollars in U.S. It has to go through SWIFT to get delivered here. Well, SWIFT can't get their shit together and make it happen. And your money is just going to go blip and disappear out into SWIFT space somewhere. Then you need to go hunt it down and find out what the hell happened to it. So meantime... You're not getting nets, right? So, wire transfers, like I said, waste of time. You're better off to drop a check in the mail. It's going to get here faster than Swift can get your money wire transferred. Um, we've proven that several times just this year. Um, I'm working on, I was put on to getting this program called Venmo, I guess. That is uh, a way to transfer money electronically. It can link right straight to my bank account. And I've been told it works really good. The person that showed me showed me right on her phone. Hey, here's how it all works. This is cool, blah, 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 blah. Um, but <laughs> my phone is four years old. Brand new. But I guess I need a new one to get the program to run. So I'm going to try and have that up and going next year. To make things better. Um, so yeah, try to get money here 
get nets built, get them boxed up, get them shipped. It takes time. It's not happening overnight. I live in the country. Keep that in mind. I don't live in a city. I don't have FedEx right around the corner, UPS right around the corner. The nearest places I can ship those are like 30 miles away, one direction. So if I've got a package, a box, two or three nets in it, and you insist that it needs to go FedEx or UPS because it's going to get there quicker than going in the mail, I'm going to drive 30 miles, go get that thing weighed, 30 miles back home. That's 60 miles plus my time and gas. Then I got to give you the total of the shipping to get your money here. Then I got to drive all the way back up there to ship it and then drive all the way back home. So that's two trips. See where I'm going with this? Two trips just to get something shipped. That's why I use the post office. It's only like three, three and a half miles down the road. It's easy and convenient for me. Um, let's see. Also for the 2023 season. Getting supplies. Like I said, I just got another roll of mesh today. That's going to hold me for a while. But I need floats. I need chain. Um, if things go nuts, like I'm being told, it's probably going to happen. I'm going to need more mesh. I need rope. I need the metal rings. I need pecs. I need all that stuff that goes into making the nets. So, styrofoam floats are kind of hard to come by. Fortunately, I've been able to get what I've needed so far. But I've been told by marine stores they're in short supply. Metal prices are going up. That means chain prices are going up. Fuel prices are up. Everything is going up, right? So, if you guys all wait until February, March, April of 2023 to start piling tons of net orders on me, then I have to find all this stuff Johnny on the spot. Hopefully I can get it. It's going to cost you a lot more because it's going to cost me a lot more. Then I need to find all the time to be able to put it all together. And get it all to you. I don't have little Chinese people and little Mexicans here burning sewing machines 24 hours a day. What you see is what you get. It's right here. I found somebody who can help me on a part-time basis with the sewing, putting the small components together. She's working on that right now. And uh, I'm paying her to do that, so that's more money out of my pocket to try and get ahead. So, let's put it this way. I know some people in Canada, okay? So, want to try and get your orders together throughout the rest of the spring through this summer. And it will be money up front because I'm not going to take a, a laundry list of orders, say for 50 nets, and then take my money and go buy all the stuff to get 50 nets built and then have half of you guys back out. And then I'm stuck with it. And no. And I'm also not going to go spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of my money to get rolls of mesh, rolls of pecs, buckets and buckets of chain to get a pile of it here and then hope I might sell some more stuff next year. That would be dumb. I already spent almost $2,000 today. So, give me a shout. Send me an email. Send me a text. Uh, phone number is right on the on the website, 207-598-6862. Uh, get a hold of me, and I can put you in contact with people in Canada who have agreed to be like, you know, the in-between. And they will come and 
pick stuff up here and get it over there. So that's going to save, and they're doing it kind of as a big favor to me. So that's going to save me a lot of time of having to find boxes, having to pack boxes, having to drive to the post office to weigh them, drag them back home, get your money, then drag them back down to ship them. So, you know, also it's saving me from having to take orders and deal with 30, 40, 50, whatever different people. So they are willing to basically be the front people and bring all that together over in Canada, deal with the Canadian U.S. conversions so that everything has to, comes to me in U.S. Um, I've had somebody ask me if I take Canadian money. No, I don't have any use for it. I have no more use for Canadian dollars than I do like yen or rubles or euros. No, it doesn't work here. So they're going to take care of all that. And then, yep, when there's an order ready to go, somebody's going to come and pick them up. And they will get them across the border, deal with the customs uh, going across, deal with all that paperwork, and all that bullshit, and get them into Canada, deal with the duty. So there it is. Yeah, they're going to mark up the nets a little bit over what I am selling them for. Yeah, they need to and they should because they're taking the time to do all this to make my life easier and ultimately your life easier. So, yeah, they can make a few bucks on it. No big deal. That's how it works. Plus, you're not sitting there waiting for two or three weeks, four weeks. For the money to get all funneled through and then things to get shipped. I could put something in the post office tomorrow and it could be two weeks, two and a half weeks before it gets over there. That's how it goes. So, get a hold of me. See if we start putting some stuff together for 2023.